Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to focus on large assembly drawings. We're going to add a few dimensions and even create a custom isometric view. The goal of this is to show you how fast you can deal with the creation of drawings for large assemblies. What you're about to see here is a custom machine design containing more than 4,000 components. The first thing to notice is the realistic shadowing effects that Top Solid 7 allows you to work with. Here you can even work with real material properties such as textures and mirrored faces. From here what we're going to do is we're going to start a new draft document and show you how fast Top Solid 7 actually is in the creation of the 2D drawings for such a large assembly. So let's get started. Here, we're going to hit the new document icon, choose a draft document, choose our template, and now we're going to go to our project tree, grab our assembly, and drag and drop it in. And before I'm even done talking, that first view is generated. That took less than three seconds to generate a 4,000 component assembly drawing view. After we get our three standard views, we'll exit out of the view creation, and then we're going to hit the optimize view layout function. This will auto scale those three views to fit on your sheet of paper. From here, we're going to zoom up on a specific section of our assembly view so we can add a few basic dimensions. You can see how easy it is to add a dimension from any object to any object. I don't know if you're noticing the little grip points that pop up automatically for dimensioning sake as well. It makes it far simpler to dimension exactly to what you want to dimension to. From here, we're actually going to generate yet another view. We're going to take that same assembly, drop it off into the corner here. But in this case, what we want to do is set a different set of properties for it. Here we'd like it to be a shaded view. We'd like to change the scale of it as well. The goal here is that we want to create a custom isometric view. So we're going to zoom up on this so we can better see it. And then from there, right here in two-dimensional space, we're going to dynamically rotate this 2D view to get it exactly how we want to display it on our draft document. And again, this is 4,000 parts we're dynamically rotating in our draft environment. That's extremely powerful, extremely fast. 